Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 13th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to learn to populate one table using the data that's uh, present in another table, right? So the statement that we are going to use to do this is the insert statement and uh, we checked out the insert into query in the last tutorial when we learned to put data in uh, a table that doesn't have any rows or even if it has rows you can use the insert into state statement to insert uh, data in a table one row at a time, right? So we've seen how it works and uh, the syntax of the insert query to populate one table from the data that's present in another table is slightly different from the syntax that we've seen, right? So it has a couple of additional keywords. And uh, one thing that you have to make sure before you do this is that the destination table or the table in which you are going to put in your data has to be compatible with the table from which you're pulling your data. Right. So once we see this command in action in the workbench, this will become clear to us. Right. And uh, the syntax, as you can see, you have to use your uh, keywords insert and into, and then you have to type in your uh, table name and then, you know, you specify the columns if uh, in case you want to put in your data in, a, you know, in, in a few columns and uh, not in all the columns, and then you use the keyword select and you type in the names of the columns from which you want to pull in your data. And uh, then you use the keyword from and you type in the name of your source table. And uh, in case you want to have some where clause, you can mention that too. But this is optional. That's why it's in square brackets, right? So let's see how this works in the MySQL environment. So I've got my MySQL workbench here. And uh, there are a couple of ways in which you can check whether uh, you have any tables in your database or not. The first one is obviously you can look into the object browser. You can click on the drop down for your database and then click on the drop down for tables. And as you can see at the moment, I've got two tables in my database. The first table is the EMP underscore info table that I created just for the sake of this tutorial. And the second one is the employee table that we created some tutorials ago when we learned the create table statement. Right. So the structure of the EMP underscore info table and the employee table is absolutely same. And uh, there's one command that I want to discuss that's got nothing to do with this tutorial. And I should have told you guys the statement, uh, you know, some tutorials ago, actually, but I, it just, I, I just missed it. So the command is show tables and I mentioned it, but I didn't, uh, you know, execute it and show you guys uh, what it does. So when you execute this command, you see all the tables that you have in your database. So in the results set, I see that at the moment I have EMP underscore info table and the employee table, right? So that's all it does. And uh, in case you do not want to use the object browser, or if you're using the MySQL command line client, then, you know, this is a very handy command. Right. So that's enough about it. Now uh, I'll show you guys the structure of both the tables so that you can see that the, you know, two tables are uh, mutually compatible. So to see the structure, I'll obviously use the DESC command. So we'll first see the structure of employee, right? Because this is going to be our source table and uh, it has four fields, ID, name, DOB and email. And ID field is uh, of integer type, name is of varchar type, DOB is of date time type, and email is of varchar type, right? And uh, now I'll show you the structure of the EMP underscore info table, right? So DESC and then EMP underscore info. And uh, when I press control enter, I see that this table also has the same, uh, you know, set of columns, but it doesn't have the primary key constraint on the ID field. And, you know, the two tables can have different set of constraints, but what's important is that, you know, the columns from which you're pulling your data from the source table and the columns in which you're putting your data in the destination table, those columns need to be mutually compatible, right? So if you're put, pulling in data from the ID field, which is of integer type, then you must put in your data in some field in your destination table that is also of ID type. Right. So I hope I'm making sense. And uh, another thing that we need to see before we uh, actually execute our insert into statement is that whether the EMP underscore info table has any data in it or not at the moment. Right. So to do to do that, I'll use the select star query, select star from EMP underscore info and uh, press control enter. And there you go. You see that the table currently doesn't have any uh, you know, information in it. And uh, I'll also show you guys the output of uh, 
the select star query when executed on the employee table right because we should know what information we are actually going to pull in from this table and uh, it has two rows the first one is uh, a row with id 1901 and the second one is a row with id 2000 right so we're going to pull in both these rows and we're going to put this information in the emp underscore info table using the insert into statement and since we don't need any of these anymore we'll be requiring one select star query to make sure that the insert statement has been executed successfully or not but that we're going to need later on so for the time being i'll type in insert into the name of my table which is emp underscore info and then i'll type in the name of the columns in which i want to put in my information right so it's id and then uh, name and then dob and then email next i'll type in the select keyword and uh, the names of the columns of the source table and the columns are id name dob and uh, email and then on the next line i'll type in the keyword from and the name of the source table which is employee i'll put in a semicolon to terminate the statement and when i press the control enter key combination i see that in the output section i get the message insert into statement has been executed successfully and the message is that two rows have been uh, affected right and uh, we can see what all things have been copied by executing the select star query on uh, the emp underscore info table so the query is select start from emp underscore info we put in a semicolon to terminate the statement and when i press the control enter key combination i see that in the result set i get that the emp underscore info table now has two rows so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and take care